Hey, this is Bear with the Porta Keeper YouTube. Welcome back. And today I've been waiting for a couple weeks to install these. Just hadn't felt real good. Had I'd been sick, so needed to do my other video on particle distribution just so that I could get a chance to install these next. So today is the day that we're going to install these. I'm going to put them off to the side. I still have this plugged in and we're going to turn it on. There's really nothing coming out. So unplugged, doesn't turn on or off. And we're just going to see kind of like what the buildup is on the inside. So have the Porta Keeper anti-popcorn. Make sure to check that out on portakeeper.com website. Um, also have like the turn tilter, so it's your cup tilter that we also sell. And then last but not least, I know that they are shipping with these ugly metal dials, but we sell this plastic dial that I think looks a lot better. Um, mine doesn't have a screw in it, but you get the point. I take them on and off all the time just for different colors and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Make sure it's turned off. I'm going to reposition. So let's open up the top and just take a look. I have not cleaned this at all. I actually haven't opened it up in several weeks. Pretty much since I did my video showing you the burrs maybe a month ago. I haven't used it absolutely every day, but I've used it almost every day since I got it. So take that top ring off. We're going to set that aside. And here's kind of the moment of truth. That is pretty sparkling. You have your just natural ground stuck in your burrs. I'm actually going to zoom in on this. That's just using a bellow every day, every time I grind. And this has quite a few pounds through it, so it's not like I haven't used it. A little bit at the shoot, which is to be expected. I am extremely impressed. So I'm going to use my brush. Let's clean it up just so I can kind of show you what perfectly clean might look like. Let me move this back. And we'll get all the, the grounds out when I replace the burrs. So there it is, I consider pretty much perfectly clean. Uh, you can dig the screw holes out if you want. I don't recommend loosening them if you're not swapping the burrs. And there's the grind chamber itself. So this thing is just, honestly for a grinder, spotless. I'm really in shock right now. Um, I'm gonna start setting up and we're gonna swap these burrs real quick. So before I loosen things up, and this is before you even take this lid off, I recommend I get a Sharpie and I mark the same place so that when you put it back together, you don't want to put it back together, in this case, 180 degrees. On the DF64, you can go 120. So that's really important just from an alignment standpoint that you know if you're gonna clean this, which way is the proper orientation when you put your burrs in. So we'll take that off. Uh, we're going to try to loosen these up. I have just a regular screwdriver. Sometimes it can be really easy. Sometimes it can be really difficult to get loosened, especially if you have a lot of buildup in your screws. 
kind of like this one. But we have all those out and this is just so you don't mess up your burrs. You don't want to pry from the side. Uh, you could nick the side of these existing burrs or even the side of your grinder. So I just, I recommend not doing that. It could be a little bit difficult to get out. We may end up having to turn it upside down. Uh, we'll just, we'll see what happens here in a sec. Let me go try to get some pliers or something. Okay, that did the trick. I just dug at it a little bit with a screwdriver. There's still some stuck to the sides. But there's our stock bottom burr. Same as the Mauser Major Grinder, I believe. Um, something that I want you just to know is that there is, oops this rubber o-ring that they have in the middle so make sure if you're cleaning out this grind chamber real good you want this to be just very clean and ready for your new burrs you might pull this out and wipe it down before you put it back in but make sure to put it back in it's there for a reason so that you don't get some buildup. so it's not spotless but here is our stock DF83 burr and usually what I like to do when I pull burrs out take a sharpie and mark which is top and bottom not like I don't think the, the, these are paired that way like the SSPR but I always like to put them back in the same so that's my recommendation next we're going to take this top burr off it's really no different than the bottom so I'll, I'll do it pretty quick just to make the video a little bit shorter. Okay, all three of those screws are loosened. We're just gonna lift it off, same as the bottom. And I just wanna note again that there's another one of these O-rings. So if you're cleaning this out, which I recommend you do, make sure to clean this O-ring really good. Just kind of give it a wipe down with a rag and your fingers just to get all that oil and build up off. There's really not much on it, but you don't want to throw it off your alignment. I recommend if you're able, try to dig out as much of the grounds and the screws or use a little bit of compressed air. I clean this whole grind chamber out. Pretty much spotless now. And we're going to start installing these burrs. I don't know if I'm going to show you the entire alignment process if they're not aligned perfectly, but I have another video that I'll throw a link to. So you want to look and you do have a top and a bottom burr. So make sure you're using the right one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start with the top and make sure that our O-ring is nicely centered. So to do the final tightening, what I usually do is I'll start with one and just start snugging it up and you'll want to go in a circle. Kind of like tightening lug nuts on your car. And then I like to just give it a little bit more force each time. You don't want to just tighten one side down and then go to the next one and tighten it down. I'm going to say this is pretty much good. So now we're going to do the same with this bottom burr. Last chance to check to make sure you grab the right burrs. Make sure that you have your O-ring in place. This one doesn't fit real snug. I don't know how yours is. But drop this in place and line up with the holes this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to tighten down because that bottom burr carrier does spin but we're just going to do the exact same thing of 
Just getting them barely tight and moving to the next. We'll tighten everything down here in a sec. So you don't want to stick anything in the exit chute to prevent it from spinning. You just might damage something. I recommend just taking your thumb and just pressing nice and firm to the side and just start tightening it down. I like to do it two or three different times just to get that nice even torque on each screw. We're going to do one more. Really shouldn't move much at this point. So there is our top and bottom burr. Now the alignment might be off. I still want to make sure to reuse the X. And also make sure to put your spring back in. We are going to do an alignment check, but if it needs to be adjusted, you can just refer to my other video where I did an alignment on a DF, I think 64. Um, grab you a dry erase marker, and we'll just see how close it is. And what I like to do is just cover all these triangular cutting surfaces on both burrs. And don't worry, the reason why we're using dry erase marker is it does just wipe off and you can just run a little bit of coffee through it and it pretty much just goes just straight through the grinder so not a real big deal there's our bottom we're going to do the same on the top before we reassemble it can be a little bit more difficult with specific burrs like the multi-purpose burrs they have different a different cut pattern that doesn't give this nice flat triangular surface. Um, I actually have a write up on some burrs and it's really interesting just the different patterns even though they don't look that much different there's actually quite a bit, bit different when you look under a microscope so we want to put that spring back in and then we want to make sure just to reuse those X's even though it's a completely different alignment from before um, in the future take it apart I don't want to align it upside down so I put the collar back on and then what I like to do is usually just kind of give it a spin we should be getting pretty close to zero and just keep there's our zero just keep spinning it until they're touching and then when they're touching by hand I'll turn these burrs and since we're doing it by hand we're really not doing damage to it and what we're doing is we're rubbing those two surfaces together and hopefully rubbing off this expo marker in a uniform pattern so let's take this off and take a quick look to see if the burrs are aligned well So I would say almost perfect out the gate on these. You can see a little bit off in this area, but I don't even know if foil is going to make that much of a difference. What I'll probably end up doing is running it for a while, letting them break in a little bit, and then if I need to, I'll do a little bit more alignment. But yeah, just out the gate, not even trying. We got pretty good alignment in my opinion. So if yours does not align perfectly, I have another video, I'll throw a link. Uh, I think the smaller ones are a little bit more difficult to align than these big ones. 
But just a reminder, when you're assembling it, make sure you have your ring in and make sure to mark your burr carrier. So one more thing I wanted to note before I sign off. If you notice, we're on about setting 18 and before our zero point was on zero. Um, with these SSP burrs, pretty common, regardless of the grinder, you can hear that we're touching. So 18 is pretty much our zero point. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can actually use like a hair dryer, I believe, and pull this off. I've not done it on this. Or you can reach out to Joe at Espresso Outlet and he sells new tops. So I have a couple new tops at my house. I don't have them. Well, I might have them here. I need to take a look. But if you end up messing this up, don't worry. You can get new adjustments. Or if you're fine with it, you just know that 18 is your zero point and you just have new settings for your grinder but very common with the ssp burrs thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions uh, i'll be doing another video on these new burrs uh, i want to look at the particle distribution they're brand new i'm probably going to use them for a couple weeks just to break them in um i don't, I don't think it'll be too long but i would i'd like to do the same particle distribution like i did for the drip and the espresso just to see if there's any major differences between the two and also just the taste in the cup so please subscribe check back we'll have more stuff coming here soon um, especially on the df83 and some of these other cool grinders and have a roaster that i'm going to be doing a review on so check back a lot of cool stuff coming thanks for watching